man there's some crazy stories that's coming out today man crazy stories especially coming from your favorite mega carrier warner welcome back to the lockout man podcast show what's good everybody look man we just gonna go ahead and just jump right into this story so this story comes courtesy of cdl life you guys know cdl life there's that's the app that got all of the truckers news and everything. Not everybody know about CDL Life, but I am here to give you this one story, this one article that just, I don't know, maybe, maybe touch a nerve. I feel that what Warner is doing or is about to do is put the safety of you and me in jeopardy, right? So I want you guys to understand that when you go get your CDLs, before you get them, you got to get your learner's permit. It's the same learner's permit that you would get when you would go for your license, that you can't operate a vehicle unless there's a licensed driver with you. Now, that's not to say that you can't drive the car by yourself or anything, but just make sure you don't get caught. Warner on the other hand for the c for the commercial vehicle side they saying hey fmcsa we need some help and we want to relax or exempt our clp drivers right so that our cdl drivers don't need to be with them while they driving the truck Lockout, what'd you just say? You heard me. You heard me. Warner filed for this exemption last year, and FMCSA approved it this year. Okay? All right? It's crazy. It's crazy. They grant Warner to allow CLP drivers to operate without a CDL holder in the passenger seat. Meaning an inexperienced driver that don't know nothing about the truck, not just yet, are given the keys and to drive cross states without proper supervision. Again, they made this request last year. And the reason why they made this request, they say it's because of generational driver shortage as the reason generational driver shortage man i mean they they really hold on to this driver shortage thing real tight right so that's the reason they saying that since we got a driver shortage we need our our cdl slash trainers to be out there on the road so they can deliver our freight for us and then we're going to give the non cdl holder the one that got their permits the opportunity to mess something up my opinion just saying all right warner said that they are about they they graduate about 6500 student drivers per year per the partnership between them and roadmaster school which warner owns and that these new drivers used to be issued a temporary CDL upon completion of the CDL test, which the company says made it possible for Warner to immediately designate an on, I mean, a new driver as on duty and direct him or her to the domicile of her, of their home state to get their CDL. Without entering a second driver as an on-duty status. They also said they're able to put the driver on duty and start paying the driver. They said that being that they couldn't do this without the exemption, it says they will have to wait for the CDL driver to go to his or her home state before commencing movement of freight as an on-duty status. Also, within that part, they had to put them as a non-productive, non-driving capacity. 
They also argued that the downturn caused a host of problems, including excavating costs, inefficient problems for the carrier, presenting financial hardship for the new driver, and causing possible degraduation of new drivers. Professional skill set, meaning that since they had to wait their their skills as at driving the truck slowly deteriorates. Like if you was good at backing and then you had to wait like two, three, four weeks later, then yeah, your skills being that you haven't practiced or anything like that will deteriorate. The company argued that a compliance is causing a significant operational burden. But guess what? But here's the thing that touched me and what Warner actually said when they filed for the for the exemption. Right. They said they they said, and I quote, that Warner claims that there is no material difference between these new these CLP holders. Right. There's no difference between them and all other professional drivers on the road. This assertment right here ignores the fact that well-trained drivers are more, are, I mean, more expensive drivers have better safety records. We looking at safety here. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about safety. And what Warner is doing is putting your safety and my safety at risk by putting inexperienced drivers without the proper training on the road. Because of generational driver shortage. So now, while the the CDL coming your in into your mail, you get the opportunity to drive maybe two, three states before you actually get to drive home to get your actual CDL. Come on, Warner. Warner gets a big fat L for this, man. They get a big fat L for this. Not only that, not not only that Warner gets a big fat L for this, but there's going to be other companies that's going to follow suit. Swift, for example. We know Swift. We 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 know we, Oh my god. We we all know what Swift is all about, right? Just imagine Swift would be next in line to ask for a exemption because of generational driver shortage. Come on now. Come on, Warner. Are you 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 can't be serious right now. You can't be serious right now. They fail to explain how a CP I mean CLP holder will be adequately monitored or mentored if the CDL holder is not in the passenger seat, the inexperienced CLP holder does not yet meet the necessary standards to drive by themselves and therefore should not be operating a vehicle of this magnitude without supervision. I don't get it. Warner. I, you know, I had respect for Warner at one point. But after getting this in my feed and, and reading and, and trying to understand it, I know you guys got some, I know you guys got some feelings about this. So let's get the conversation started, shall we? Let me know in the comments below on what you feel, how you feel about Warner's new uh grant to allow CLP drivers to operate without a CDL holder in the passenger seat. You guys let me know. And and on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. I appreciate you guys listening. The best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you for making the Lockout Man Podcast Show your favorite podcast to listen to. You guys take it easy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Get the conversation started in the comments below. If you're a new subscriber, type in new subscriber. 
and I will try my best to respond to all of you guys. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next video. You guys have a safe day. Peace. Thank you.